What up guys, this is Thomas. Uh, today we're going to be talking about how to fight like Miyamoto Musashi. Famously, he was the uh, samurai of Ronin who used the two swords method, commonly translated as two heavens, one current. And I'm going to be showing you how to, how to do that today. So first, we need to get our stance. Now, typically, uh, Musashi talked about there being six stances. So there's the high, low, mid, right, and left stance. And then there's also the stance, no stance, where it doesn't really matter where you're standing or how you're standing, you're always ready. So when you, when you make a slash or an attack, both swords, they come down, they come back up. Like, there's no need for special tricks. Just stay centered. Back and forth. So as he's holding a sword like this, I'm gonna come down with it. With the grain, you could say. I'll let him get up. Get up. Oh, there's two. Is he dead? Yeah, he's dead. And it's important not to drop your sword. There's no need for any special crazy swings. Keep it centered, keep it together. And stop dropping your sword. Now, Musashi was a badass for many reasons. Uh, his first confirmed kill in a duel was when he was 13. This guy was basically talking mad shit, and Musashi ran up and was like, I'll challenge you. And the guy laughed. He laughed at Musashi, and Musashi beat him to death with his wooden sword and then Musashi was also at the battle of Sekigahara which was his first major fight but he was on the losing side he escaped that and tried to run back home but because he was on the losing side, he had to go into hiding. So a minor lord put him in a castle, basically forced him to live in a castle for three years and to study. And that's where he developed a lot of his uh, higher learning, even though he was well known as a wild man. Some other not notable things that he did was he had over 50, he never lost a duel. He dueled over 50 times and never once lost. So the first time he, uh, he took on a dojo, because this was at the end of the Warring States period, where there wasn't really a whole lot of wars to fight, which was the, you know, main way for samurais to to get fame and fortune was to fight for their lord. And something a lot of people don't know was samurais carried around a bag. And in that bag, they put the severed heads of their enemies. So at the end of the battle, they would go up to the daimyo or whoever was in charge of the of the uh, of the campaign and they would present the severed heads of their enemies to them. So you notice, I'm trying to keep them together. Two strikes. Um, 
So the first dojo he fought was in Kyoto. He went s straight in and was like, I'm here to challenge the Lord of the Dojo. And the guys laughed at him. And so he said, you know, you can't just walk in here and, you know, demand to see our leader. So they, uh, so they sent some guy at him. Musashi had his wooden sword. Killed the guy in one swing. Just bashed his fucking head in. And so they were like, oh shit. Well, you know, I can't just let this guy come in here and kill my guys. So then the Lord of the, the, master, the Dojo Master or whatever came to fight Masashi. And guess what happened? Masashi bashed his head in for a swing. And so that guy had a brother. And his brother was pretty pissed off that some random asshole came in and bashed his brother's head in. So he was like, alright, well, I'm going to defend the honor and fucking kill this guy. This Musashi upstart whatever. And so he challenged Musashi. Musashi showed up. They had a duel. And Musashi killed him one swing. Bashed to the head. And so after this, all the all the members of the dojo were pretty pissed off. Like this dude shows up out of nowhere and destroys, completely destroys. He kills our leaders who we've been training under for the past few years. So the entire dojo got together and decided to lay a trap for Musashi because these two brothers actually had a younger brother. I think he was like 13. And he was like, well, this guy is now in charge of the dojo and we need to defend our honor. So they set up a trap for Musashi in this mountain path, in this mountain pass. And so Musashi leaves Kyoto. He's like, this dojo is bullshit. I'm going to find a real challenge. And... So on his way through the mountain, he's passing by these villagers or whatever, and he gets warned. He's like, hey, there's like 80 guys up here, and they are waiting to trap you. They're going to kill you. They've got guns. They've got soldiers. They've got, like, they're set up. And Musashi's like, it is what it is, and he walks into the trap. So he walks into this small clearing in this forest on the side of a mountain. And he, uh, he's like, here I am. And so they swarm him. And he starts running circles around their camp. Because although Musashi has the skill and the, and the fucking balls, he's not fucking stupid. Like... He knew that to, to die in this way would be somewhat pointless. So he starts running circles around them so that he can fight them one on one. And during that time that he was running around, you know, fighting for his life, he pulled out his short sword. And that was the first time, allegedly, that he fought with two swords. And he ended up killing 50 fucking people single-handedly in the same night and escaped with his life, decimating the dojo. Um, another famous thing that he'd done was his, uh, fight with Sasaki Kojiro, who was known for having a longer than normal sword and having, uh, a technique called the Swallowtail, which I'm not entirely certain how that technique actually worked, but it was something like he pulls it out really quick does some shit, 
And then off goes their head. Why do I keep dropping the sword? So when he fought Kojiro, it was supposed to be this really big thing. Well, it was a really big thing. Because they were both trying to establish dojos, and Kojiro had an established dojo. He had the backing, he like played the political game, whereas Musashi more was like focusing on like honing his craft and like figuring shit out. Like he was known as a wild man. Alright guys, that's going to do it for this video. Uh, please leave a like if you've liked the video. Subscribe if you haven't. And I will see you all next time.